Hey everyone, it's Shane from The New Loud. Last week I posted the video Plan B detracts from Plan A and I got a bunch of responses, a few on Facebook through the New Loud page and a couple on YouTube. That was awesome. Thanks guys, thanks for writing in. Sweet. Um, one, of my, one of the special responses I got last week and my, my favorite response was uh, from Ku Mays who said that his Plan A was to raise his kids. And man, if, if only more parents were like that, I think the whole world would be a better place. So kudos goes out to Kumais for the awesome response. Um, a lot of people wrote in, or I should say a few people wrote in, and they were talking about how uh, they're, they set out to do a band and, and really try hard, but then like real life got in the way and they got, they got sidetracked and stuff like that. Um, this other guy, Gamer Pete, wrote in to the YouTube page and said that he thinks his uh, plan A is finishing school this semester and doing really well, and his plan P is playing video games because he keeps playing video games. And about the people that kind of fell off from their band and, and Gamer Pete, who uh, is maybe playing a little bit more video games than he should, or maybe not, um, everyone needs a diversion of some kind, but it just matters if you keep your diversions in check, basically. Um, one of my favorite bands of all time, Fugazi, um, Ian MacKay was doing a, he was speaking at a college and Ian MacKay was from, before Fugazi, he was in Minor Threat and they had a song called Straight Edge and the guy stood up and asked him, are you still Straight Edge? And, and Ian said to him, well, what is Straight Edge to you? And the kid was like, well, you know, in the song, it's uh, don't drink, don't smoke, don't do drugs, you know? And Ian said, you know, that's all fine and good, but when I wrote that, the song, the whole, the whole meaning of straight edge is to keep your, keep your edge and keep going where you're, you're trying to go. And for me, and probably for you guys too, and probably for everyone in the whole world, and even Ian Mackay, like staying focused is really hard. I have trouble with it. You know, like I'm always thinking of other things to do or whatever, but I'm always trying to get myself back into it. Um, over this last year, I, I learned uh, a secret weapon, secret weapon and a secret technique that I'm gonna share with you guys for keeping your focus. And hopefully it works for you, works for me. The secret weapon is the Walgreens notebook. Um, if you guys get yourself a notebook and write down a list of goals like for the next 12 months or you can even do it a shorter amount of time. Um, I was just at practice last week with uh, Radish and Jesse and um, we had just finished setting up our, our new system that's going to control like all, all of our sound stuff from a laptop and we're going to have some lighting integration and stuff. And It reminded me of these goals that I wrote last summer. And I had written 11 goals down. Maybe you can see that. Maybe you can't. I'm not sure how the camera's working. Um, but out of the 11 goals that I have written down here, I have nine of them. I just checked it out. Nine of them. Nine out of the 11 I finished up. Um, and, I mean, these weren't easy goals, and, and I didn't look at this every single day. But if you get yourself a notebook and you write down a 12 month set of goals, like 10 goals or something, it's like, it's like magic. Like all these will somehow find their way done or at least 80% of them or 75%, you, you will be surprised. It is literally magic that happens. Um, and so that was really cool. Like I had, I had no idea. I haven't looked at this since, almost since last summer. And So yeah, secret weapon, Walgreens notebook. Do it. Get it. Whatever your plan A is, start writing out a list of a 12-month goal, like 10 of them, and you'll be amazed. Check it out.